Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to Deb Chanel's 48th World. I know I've been gone for a while, but hey, I thought I'll just try to revive my um, YouTube station a little bit, okay? Um, basically, I want to talk about something that's actually been in the news for running about three weeks now. The little Jesse Smollett, uh, Smollett, Smollett, something like that, uh, the actor from Empire getting in trouble, telling lies, and whatnot. And um, I was just wondering when one of his colleagues or one of his um, friends on the Empire show, his actors and actresses, is going to come to his defense in some way, somehow. And this past, um, well, it really was this weekend, but I'm getting from the celebrity insider. Terrence Howard comes out. And speaks a little bit, giving his opinion on um, how he feels about the whole situation. So, um, the title from Celebrity Insider is saying, Terrence Howard reveals his opinion of Jesse Smollett's situation. Okay, it goes on to say this past Thursday, Jesse Smollett, one of the leading actors on Empire, was charged with disorderly conduct over falsely claiming he was the victim of a hate crime on the 29th of January. Since then, Smollett has maintained his innocence despite the numerous reports that the actor had faked it, hiring two Nigerian African brothers to attack him and paying them 3500 for their trouble. Okay, that's pretty much 1500 apiece, right? Easy money, right? Okay. Um, Terrence Howard has worked with Jesse for years, and he was just one star to come out in support of the actor this week. Yeah, that's what I was talking about, y'all. Terrence, who plays Jesse's father on Empire, posted a video on Jesse on his Instagram page that suggested the cast and crew from the popular series has Jesse's back. In response to the swift social media backlash for his comment, Ter Terrence insinuated there are people who want to believe in the most negative aspect of the story. However, went on to give an enthusiastic and religious speech in which he stated that so much bad has been piled on our president, Republicans, and the president. Okay. Um, he went on to accuse Trump and his vo voters of some kind of immortality despite the extremely heinous and divisive nature of the allegations against Jesse. Thus far, Smollett has received extreme hatred on, online from people who are infuriated by his lies, especially considering the motivation for the lie, which was needed or which was a need for publicity and dissatisfaction with the pay he received per episode, which is 60000 an episode. Okay. On Thursday, when Jesse was arrested, his attorney said that his right to due process has been trampled. His lawyer said in the statement that the Empire Star feels betrayed. Reports claim Jesse was excited to hear when police had found someone to press charges against. But when he saw it was two Nigerian brothers, the ones he had allegedly paid to put the plan into action, he quickly said he didn't want to press charges. Okay, social media commentators have suggested that Jesse was going to falsely accuse two white men of perpetrating an attack against him. And that's pretty much it. But I'm like, you know, where is the sympathetic ear, the empathy towards Jesse? I mean, yes, he came out and said one thing. And it was obviously it came out to be another thing. But to me, it's almost like he's already been tried in the press so how can he get a fair shot at anything because you know evidence have come out evidence was leaked different stories have been portrayed throughout the media can he really get a fair trial because pretty much like i said he's already found guilty in the eye of everybody pretty much that's making an opinion on the situation and if you could find 12 jurors that haven't seen or haven't heard about you know, the situation, how can they be uh, impartial or non-biased? That's going to be a hard pickle to sift through. So I like, you know, we ought to just throw up our prayers for Jesse. 
But we don't know why people do these strange things as far as telling lies to progress or um, put their careers in a certain light where it helps them to do certain things in the public eye. And, you know, I guess he was thinking he would get more money for his actions, which were very negative if he, in fact, did this. Uh, I'm not going to say one way or the other. It just seems a little bit peculiar, you know, the whole payment situation, the whole accusation that Mega was behind this um, hanging situation or him being attacked and all of this. People were saying that it most, mostly was a plot for him to get more money. Uh, I don't know if that's necessarily the case, but we really need to look a little deeper on why he felt, if in fact he did do this, why did he want to do this and put other people's lives in danger of not being believed in case it happens to them. You know, a similar situation happens to another person that's not actually in the media or a celebrity of any kind or whatnot. They're just a regular, everyday, average person. Will we not want to believe them because of the Joe, uh, Jesse Smollett ordeal or the Bachman, I should say? So I think we just need to keep him in prayer and um, you know, really look at the situation to see if he was suffering from some type of mental breakdown or illness or uh, some people are suggesting he was strung out on drugs or whatnot. Should he seek uh, rehab? and get straightened out prior to all of these charges being thrown at him, and he's going to have to answer for them ASAP. You know, where is the cast other than Terrence? You know, where's Taraji? Where's um, Hakeem? I don't know the uh, guy's real name in real life. Um, and other supporting actress, actors and actresses. Andre is uh, another one from his, um, what do you call it? his team in acting on uh, the show Empire. Haven't they? Won't they come out and express some sympathy for the guy? I mean, we're all not perfect. Uh, no one literally got hurt uh, in this incident because, you know, like it, it, it either was staged or, you know, it happened, but he didn't really have any damages done to him other than maybe mental. But I'm just saying, you know, we, we're a society quick to judge and rush and you know the media gives false news as well so are we hearing all the truth you know of this matter me my opinion is i think he just need help i think we need to sit down pray for him get him in a rehab in case he is having some type of withdrawal he's having some problems with um drug use whether it's taking pills um using syringe or alcohol or, or whatever, or, you know, he's just a, um, a, what do you call it, a habitual liar, you know, these are all disorders and need to be dealt with. And I think, you know, instead of us ready to put them in the frying pan and fry them and, you know, not knowing all the pieces to the puzzle, why don't we just step back, you know, let him get his stuff together mentally as much as he can and, you know, foster some type of healing before we throw the book at them. So we can kind of probably get some more enlightenment of this story. Because uh, I just can't believe a person of his age and his knowledge, because he's not a dumb guy. He's very articulate and he's very talented. You know, what would cause him or drive him to want to make up something so, you know, uh, horrific, especially when it plagued black people back, you know, in the 1980s, 1800s, you know, going back to slavery, you know, why would we want to do this type of lying where it puts so much emphasis on hate, you know, or, or division amongst the minority groups or black and white, if you want to say, because we definitely don't need that type of mentality, you know, to start a race war, which it seems like that's what, um, society wants us to generate towards or gravitate to is start out as hatred and, and mixed up with a lot of sinful things going on to where we don't even really recognize what's really taking place. So I just ask all of my viewers to keep him in prayer, uh, show a little bit more empathy and sympathy 
towards the situation because we really don't know. And if he is suffering from a degree where he wants more money and he wants to go and do all these falsifying things and making up these scenarios that are not necessarily true, we need to look at his stability, his mind, because something's not right. So we need to be, instead of passing judgment so quickly, we need to be trying to get him some help. Because that's just not the correct way a human is supposed to be looking at things or to get things uh, in his favor. You can't go out and do and tell all these lies to m p promote you a little bit more better inside of, you know, the world of acting in Hollywood and all this. And everybody, you know, throwing away or going towards all the sympathy for you when you really didn't need sympathy. You need more empathy to anything and, you know, get you some help psychologically. But that was my piece on it, y'all. Y'all tell me what y'all feel about it. But I think we need to pray for the guy. And we definitely need to keep searching for the truth and get him some help. Versus trying to put him in a fire and praying, put him in an electric, you know, put him in a death row situation or he go rot somewhere in jail. That's not helping citizens. That's not helping us as a race, okay? Peace and blessings to you all. That's my take. Let me know what you think. Talk to you later. Bye.